Now let's talk about the brushless analysis. Press the down arrow and then press enter at the upper left corner. This allows detection of battery, ESC, motor, and other data. It can detect and inspect up to 10 motors. For example, you can compare motor number 1 to motor number 4. Press the down arrow and you can configure the port number. Different motor types have different port numbers. For RC car, the port number is usually 2. Press down arrow again to reach analysis time. You use this to perform times analysis. Available settings include 10 seconds, 20 seconds, and 30 seconds. Let's choose 10 seconds. Press down arrow again to reach the far row setting. The choices are normal and reverse. Most brushless motors use the normal mode. On those senseless motors, we'll need to run in reverse mode. Press enter once the settings are done. You will see both the maximum and minimum value. On the left hand side, you will see RPM, KV, M, and W. Press the up arrow and you can get back to the previous record. Now, let's start the analysis work. First, turn on the power of the ESC. Press the button on the upper left corner to enter. Press start on the left. The motor will spin for 10 seconds. When the motor is stopped, turn off the ESC. Now you will see the results. The screen will show the maximum, minimum, and average value. Now let's talk about the importance of the conclusion provided. The motor has speed variation. Number between 100 and 150 would be most ideal.